But first, Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev is warning that the Russian sanctions bill that President Trump signed today is tantamount to a full-scale trade war. Joining me now, Democratic strategist and former Obama campaign regional field director Robin Biro, along with Washington Examiner contributor and political analyst Ford O'Connell. Ford is also the chairman of Civic Forum PAC. Uh, Ford, I want to start with you. Russia's prime minister saying that these new sanctions mean an end, an end to hopes of better ties with President Trump. Your thoughts? Well, let me say this. What are better ties with Russia? They've been jerking us around since the 1980s, okay? And what I will say is, is that, frankly, we sit in the driver's seat. Russia doesn't. And, w and one more thing is that, look, President Trump was backed into a corner on this because of the media's obsession with Russia. So under the circumstances, he had to sign this bill. Had we not actually had this Russian story with respect to meddling in the election, he shouldn't have signed this bill because, essentially, he's handing over executive authority under Article 2 to a dysfunctional Congress that may come back to bite us. All right, strong thoughts there. I want to actually read what President Trump has said, um, and then I'm going to go to you, Robin, on this one. So he said, while sure. I favor tough measures to punish and deter aggressive and destabilizing behavior by Iran, North Korea, and Russia, this legislation is significantly flawed. Robin, he says it encroaches on his ability to negotiate, which is one of the reasons that people elected Trump is because they believe he's a good negotiator. Your thoughts? Absolutely. To take that a step further, he went on to say that as a businessman, he's, he can negotiate better business deals. Uh, but I, I want to say that obviously uh, negotiating business deals is not the purview of Congress. That is outside of, of that scope. So, you know, that, that's just not true. But I am glad to see that he did do what was right. Congress basically had to drag him by the ear and make him do right by America and, and employ these sanctions. And I'm really glad that he did because protecting the democracy is all always our number one priority. Well, Robin, let, let me say one Go thing. Ahead, Let's Ford. play devil's advocate here. Let's just say that Russia goes to a full-scale trade war because these sanctions are going to be over oil and mining. The EU is going to come back whining, saying we're hitting Russia too hard, and then President Trump is going to have to go to a dysfunctional Congress for, with a waiver and hope in 30 days that they can relieve some of the sanctions so that the EU can actually survive. We're going to actually have a triangulation, a lot of problems with the EU going forward, and that's why had we did not have this 2016 election story, he shouldn't have signed this bill. Go ahead and respond. Uh, absolutely. I want to say that the, the thing that I like most about this bill is that now it requires congressional approval to ease some of these sanctions. So both parties will now have to agree whether or not he, they can ease these, and it won't just be up to uh, President Trump. And he agreed with that. He but, also, he also, Fort Holt, give me a second. He also uh, had was instrumental in developing this uh, and, and put in some of the language of his own. So you know, I don't really see what the problem is. But, but what I am trying to tell you is, is a lawyer and a con constitutional scholar, what goes around comes around, and unfortunately this may look good today, it may not look good tomorrow, because traditionally foreign policy has been the primacy of the executive, regardless of whether it's Barack Obama or Donald John Trump. 